So I'm going to show you uh, where to locate the wires for the customer start signal on both the Power Wizard 1.0 and the 1.1. They'd be the same. The wire numbers are wire number 24 and number 25, and we're going to locate those on the on the terminal strip here. First of all, notice that they went ahead and labeled them for you with these white labels, and we'll see label number 5 there and label number 24. And if we look up on the power strip, we'll see wire number 5. Uh, all the white wires are marked with the wire number on the wire itself. So here we'll see that that's wire 5, the one we're looking for at the terminal strip down here. And if we look there, we'll see wire number 24, which is labeled here. And the wires would be um, connected here and then would head out to the transfer switch. And that's where the Power Wizard module will look for the signal for the start. Okay, on the larger units, the terminal strip we showed before is actually in a separate um, compartment. So we'll remove the uh, access plate here and we'll show you where that terminal strip is right here. Okay, in this unit we have a label that shows terminal numbers and wire numbers. We're going to take a look at that real quick. Okay, so again on the label we'll have the terminal numbers and the wire numbers that are hooked up to that terminal along with a description. In this case we're looking for the auto start signal wires and they would be wire number 5 hooked up to terminal 3 and wire number 24 hooked up to terminal 4. Okay, so according to our label, wire number 3 should have wire 5 on it. If we follow it up, we notice that there's not a wire there, but that's because wire number 5 is bridged in the terminal strip with the terminal wire uh, terminal 3. So wire 5 is in fact hooked up there. Then terminal 4 here will have wire number 24 and the connections for the auto start would be made on 3 and 4 respectively.